Hi, this is Brian Stark, and I'm going to show you how to enter a spray application on the mobile app. Once this is recorded, we will go to the online platform and view a proof of placement report, which is required for most regions around the world. To get started, we'll open the app and go to the Fields tile. If we're standing close to the field, click the Select Nearest Field button, and it will automatically pick the field name for you using the built-in GPS of your smartphone. Here we'll click Field 700. More options appear. To do a spray record, we'll click the Crop Protection tile. If we had any previous spray records for the current crop season, they'd appear here. To add a new one, we'll click the Add button. The first thing we'll confirm is the application date and time, which will default to your smartphone settings. We'll change the stop time. And as we navigate back, a helpful pop-up will appear, asking us if we want to use the same hours for vehicles and operators. Clicking Yes will save you a few clicks if you add those other inputs. Note the weather conditions. Here the software is saving you time by filling in that detail for you. If you wish to have the weather info fill in automatically for historical field records, please ask about Ag Premium Weather. If you want to change anything, do so, and then click Record. A crop stage can be selected from the drop-down list. If we click the Material button, we can add chemicals, fertilizer, and seed to this task. We'll click Chemicals, and go to My Materials. These are the materials that I've set up so far. I'll select Roundup from the list, and based on my material settings, it has my default application rate, therefore it fills in my estimated total product used. In my example, I'm going to change the actual gallons to 12, and my REI to 48 hours. Now that I'm finished, I'll click the record button. Also note the app has given us an updated inventory of that material, if you choose to use that feature of the software. You can add other materials by clicking the same button. If you want to add a new chemical, go to the All tab, and you'll see a complete list to pick from. You can also use the search menu to find it. Now we'll add vehicles and operators. We'll hit the Vehicle button, and hit the little plus button for vehicles. We'll add the sprayer. We'll also add an operator. The spray record is complete. We'll click the record button so the application is now added to the field. Based on your app settings, syncing of these records can happen automatically based on a time interval and phone type. You can also push the records to the online platform manually by clicking the sync button. Another fantastic feature of the software is if you go back to that field and let's say do another spray application, you're going to get this re-entry warning box and that's just letting you know that you shouldn't be going to that field until the 48 hours have been expired. Very helpful for your employees. And if we go back to the online platform and go to field manager, you'll see the new spray record listed for that field. If we go to profitability, this shows all of our expenses and revenue tied to that field so far. And if we go back to options for that spray record and go to view report, this will summarize everything that we recorded on the mobile app, including the material used, weather conditions, and the field boundary. If this was a task that you imported into the software that included a coverage map, it will show up here too. Thank you for learning how to enter spray records on the mobile app and viewing them with your online platform. I hope you learned a few things along the way to make your life easier.